going on guys? Knife Guy coming at you with another vlog video on the new channel, Life of Knife Vlogs. If you guys are new, don't forget, drop a subscribe, click the notification bell so you are notified as soon as we do go live or anything new is posted. But today guys, be hitting about 30 or 40 Celsius, so about 80 to 90, even maybe 100 Fahrenheit today. Be a wicked day out. I definitely want to go geocaching, check out some abandoned places, maybe even hit up the Auto River for a quick dip. Either way guys, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. Roll the intro. Made it down to the Ottawa River. We're going along the bike path. There's the Ottawa River. Gonna be heading over. There's a small little beach. You might be able to see it in the distance. Way over there. Gonna be pedaling up near that. And then across the street, there should be an abandoned building. But I believe there's a geocache around here. So we got a little bit further to go. And we'll tune right back in. So we made it down to the Ottawa River. We're on an island called Bait Island. It's been here for years. I remember we used to come down here when I was a kid. They used to have a little house right in the middle of it, but they tore it all down. A little bit further over that way, you'll, uh, I'll check it out. I think there probably is gonna be some kayakers, because there's just some white water rapids down there, and normally they're all there. And then way over in the distance there, you can see there's Ottawa. So there's the capital, way in the distance. And that's where we went for the fireworks show. But first place I wanted to go to, unfortunately, today was a warehouse abandoned. Looks like the warehouse now has been bought and it is fenced off completely with cars on site, so I ain't gonna take a chance there. Next place I wanna check out is gonna be on the Quebec side of Canada, so the French part of Canada, where I used to live 16 years growing up there. Gonna continue heading over the bridge and it's gonna take us to two little abandoned houses. They used to have a little duck pond by it. So we'll check them out, but first we're gonna go check out the kayakers, see what they're up to. So we made it over to the Whitewater Rapids. Fortunately, there's nobody here today. It's pretty quiet too, it's actually not that bad. But as you can see, that's the bridge. I'm gonna be heading over to that side, which is the Quebec side of Canada. So the Ottawa River pretty much splits it right in half. But just a little area, we used to always come down here, check it out, have a lot of Whitewater Rapid guys, but it was mostly during the weekends, it seemed. And as you can see here, there has been a couple deaths, unfortunately. So they do have a I guess a little memory thing, so emergency ring just in case anybody does have any problems again, as you can see. But either way guys, just a quick pit stop, cool off a little bit, heading over to the Quebec side, check out a geocache, check out some abandoned places, and we'll get back into it. That's the location. We made it up near the waterfront. There's some duckies around here. I think we're gonna try and do some hopscotch. Jump from rock to rock. See if I can make it over to that island. And there should be a geocache in there. So let's get right into it, guys. See if I get wet or not. Alright guys, so we made it into the bush. Now it looks like the geocache, I think I may have found it. I saw it from a distance, a quick shine into the corner of the eye. Let's check it out. 
small little micro. Just chilling there. Right on. Let's sign her up. Let's get back on the road. guys so we did make it <clears throat> over to the houses in Quebec the French part of Canada this is one of the first houses completely abandoned nobody lives here looks like it's more of a storage unit right now but it's a decent looking house it's right in the back of the middle of the woods just off the main road it seems but just over there there's two more houses we will be checking out as well let's work our way around and see if we can find around here As you can see over here, we got some kind of storage shed. And my bike. Work our way over to the front door, see what's over here. Everything appears to be locked up here, which I guess is a good thing. There's a weird statue that's stuck in the tree. That's been there for years and years. I remember that thing. What we're going to do, guys, is we'll work our way up to the next set of houses because these ones are completely closed off. Recent vacant, but the other ones do have some openings in them. We'll check them out.
let's keep working our way around the building. Checked out all the inside. This is actually the duck pond where we used to come feed all the ducks before it all dried up, unfortunately. But I think there's a whole other level right below us, which we probably will check out. There's the sewers. And the outside of this house seem definitely better days. You can even see some little tadpoles down there and fishies. Very hard to see, but there are some little fishies down there. They're not overly large, but I don't know, maybe half pound. Let's see what's over here. So it seems that these houses just pretty much connect on the same platform. And the only way down is by the outside perimeter. So let's keep walking around here and see what we can find. Pretty sure this building's completely boarded up. It looks like it's really well done. As you can see, nails and screws and all that kind of good stuff in there. Actually, to be honest with you, this may have been the duck pond. I don't remember, I was like five or four, I think, when I came out here. That may have been the duck pond or just like a little fountain they had. But I think the duck pond would have been down there. Makes more sense. Let's work our way back across this sketchy bridge. This sketchy wooden bridge that probably won't be here for very much longer. Because it's already fallen apart. Ooh, I feel it bouncing underneath me. It's sketchy. your dog inside. But this is the other house guys. There we go, that may be the place, the name of the place. Cafe Terrasse, maybe. Who knows? Let's keep working our way around. All right, so this is the underground part of both of the houses. So the first house that's been boarded up, the second house it does have access to, and this is their entire basement. I'm not sure what this would have been used for, or the purpose of this, but it seems kind of weird because I'll show you guys something that I just saw just now. That there is a safe. Why? Why is there a safe down here under two houses? That's crazy. That's wicked. Giant safe door. Seems very weird to me for the fact that why would you have a window in a safe? that's built into the actual concrete. It's once that breaks, how hard would that be to fix? Yeah, it seems to me these are directly below the houses. They even have little spotlights, which I think is kind of weird. There's a single spotlight that's new-ish, and it's facing directly down into that hole. Why? Were they doing excavating here, trying to find something? Were they shooting a video here? But as you guys can see, this is the house that we were just in. So if you walk around, you can actually see all the main plumbing and all the ducts and all that good stuff. Actually over here, you can see where I looked down through the flooring initially. So there's a hole and there's an office chair. And then here's that little pond area that I was showing you guys. Little fishies. 
don't even know if you guys can see the fish. Probably not. Well, you can see some. Yeah, but this was the duck pond we used to always come to. And then of course the sketchy sewer. Go check that out sometime. But yeah, this is definitely one of the coolest places I've seen in a long time. Still not 100% sure why there is a safe down here. So if you guys can, leave it in the comments section. Why do you guys think there would be a safe underneath two houses that are extremely old and the fact that all of this under here is relatively new? So I'm not sure what this was. It may have been some kind of storage units, I'm guessing. Let me know guys, what do you think the safe was used for and why is it here? All right guys, that is about it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you guys had a good time. Like I said, I enjoy checking out these abandoned places, working our way around Ottawa, showing you guys some new content. This is a new channel, so if you guys are new, go ahead and throw a like down, be much appreciated. Throw a subscribe down so you don't miss out on anything. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter too, because I'll post some pictures of all this location and everything we've taken today including that nice little vault over there. Also, let me know if you guys want me to come back and do a 24 hour overnight challenge in the vault. Of course it says do not enter. Single gate broken. We'll give it a try guys. Either way, I do appreciate everybody who stopped by. Hope you guys do enjoy it. Either way, I will see you guys in the next one. Click this video for the last video. Click right there to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.